Hey guys, <clears throat> Monolith here, and this is my Unholy DK Stream of Consciousness review. I did one of these on Frost a while back, and I actually liked the idea, so I'm going to do it for Unholy, which is going to be my spec going into Legion. <sighs> Where to start? Uh, man, traditionally I've actually hated this spec, because it's always just been too spammy. Like, it's not necessarily been bad. It's just been like everything costs one rune and you just spam it. Or if you don't do that, then you're playing Necro Blight and you just keep your disease up for like ever in a day. But it doesn't play like anything like that anymore and I love it. Right now, Unholy is all about putting your Festering Wound on your target, stacking it up to anything up towards 8, then hitting them with a different attack that makes them explode for damage on the target and possibly AoE damage. Unless you keep your disease up. Not complex, but fun, and it feels so satisfying to just watch this number build up and then you just hit them and it makes it go back down. And when you know that the going back down is just doing just truckloads of damage, it feels so good. The artifact weapon, the whole every festering wound it pops, summons an army of the dead minion which can then blow up. Oh, it's so good. It just. Like the frost one I hate because it's passive, you can't even really tell it's there. The unholy one, as soon as you hit it and you see those eight strands of leak out from yourself and a bunch of minions just spawn and start fucking up your target. And Army of the Dead does a lot of damage now, so it's pretty considerable. It's just, oh, it feels like an unholy DK. You just, you're raising an army of the dead. The way your pet works is, it's the same it's always been. It has changed the buff into instead of instead of being a stack ability, it's just a cooldown. It's cool, I like it. There's a weird bug where it's a little too big, but I actually like that. <sighs> cooldown wise, you know what no. Let's just jump to weaknesses. Unholy used to have one severe weakness compared to Frost in most DPS specs. No burst at all. Unholy was all about put your disease on, keep your disease on. And that was it really all you did. And only now, you do that with your Z's, but you've also got the Festering Wound thing, plus you've got your pet cooldown, plus you've got your Army of the Dead doing actual damage, plus you've got your actual Army of the Dead, plus you've got your Gargoyle or a Dark Arbiter. Holy shit. Unholy is one of the thirstiest classes in the game now. It's so much fun. It just feels great to play. I can't. I just can't get over it. The talent tree is varied. It changes your rotation if you by just picking different talents. It lets you optimize your certain situations. It's just great. You've got things like infected cleaver, which makes it where your pet's attacks can apply festering wounds, which gives you more chances to pop them. So you can focus more on scourging and doing that extra damage than instead of doing festering strike and doing just building up so you can do that damage. Falling Shadows, which makes you basically a ranged DK, which is, oh, it's so cool. And a PvP is so much fun, just to kill people from 30 yards away. They just don't know what's going on. They're going to what they're begging for that kill cam from Overwatch, and they ain't getting that bitch. In the bottom tier, you've got Soul Reaper now, which works completely differently. It's now a 45 second cooldown, and it's active for 5 seconds, and in that 5 seconds, you up to 3... Um, festering wounds you pop you gain a 21 up to 21 percent haste buff for 15 seconds which is huge that's that's half a bloodlust it's oh, it's so good or you've got dark arbiter which turns your gargoyle cooldown into a valkyrie which uh, increases in damage and duration for every 15 I think it is runic power you spend while it's active and it does a lot of damage file works the way it's always worked except now it gives you a stacking mastery buff it's the file is really good if there's like 10 things to hit but there never is so right now nobody's taken to file other than that it's, it's i mean it's still neat other than that we've got things like uh, all will serve it gives you a second pet and your second pet is a ranged pet that is so cool it actually does a lot of damage and there's just so much.
We've got things like Bursting Sores, which increases the damage of your Festering Wound explosions and makes them AoE so they hit everything around the target. You can stack that on top of the New Way Death and Decay works, where if you're standing in your Death and Decay and you Scourge Strike, your Scourge Strike hits everything in front of you. It makes it 180 degree cleave. Holy crap. If the AoE potential is incredible. <laughs> Ebon Fever, also in that talent, makes your, your disease just tick twice as fast. It's not fancy, but it's easy to manage, simple for people to understand, and it does a ass load of damage. Epidemic. Oh my god. The AoE potential here on this talent is just absurd. Epidemic, anything you have your disease on, when you pop this ability, which is like an 8 second recharge on a 3 charge uh, timer, Anything you hit, or anything you have a disease on, when you pop epidemic, just get just it just explodes. It just blow boom hits them and everything around them. So if you've got a pile of like 20 mobs and you have epidemic, it just hits like a freight train. So after your death and decay ex expires and you can't be doing those cleaved uh, skirt strikes anymore, just pop those epidemics and you tear them up. Or if everything spreads out and you can't hit them all right away, pop those epidemics, everything explodes. It's so fucking good. What else do we got? We got Castigator, my favorite talent in the entire tier, I think, just because it makes the rotation so fucking fun and crazy. If you crit with Festering Strike, you can add up to two extra stacks. If you crit with Scourge Strike, you can proc up to two extra wounds. It makes it where the rotation changes on a pull by pull hell on a cast by cast basis which keeps things fresh but not in a way that's complicated in a way that's just interesting and it gives you something to keep your eye on all the time it's very very fun you got sludge belcher turns your fucking pet into an abomination How cool is that everybody's wanted an abomination since patchwork came out there's just, there's so much. It's it's such a great spec. Defensive cooldown wise, there's a fucking lot of them anti-magic shells as good as ever. I spend fortitudes as mediocre as ever. But they also get an enhanced anti-magic shell if you want it. More importantly, they get corpse or shield. Which makes your pet take 90% of the damage for you. But, you're like thinking, oh god, what if my pet dies? Because the ability gives it a 30 second cooldown if we can summon again ain't likely gonna happen because if you take the sludge belcher your pet you can pop a cooldown you can macro the ability together where your pet takes 90% reduced damage so your pet's taking 90% of your damage but your pet's only taking 10% of that damage it's so fucking good man I can't oh, it's just so good and dk unholy still has the most mobility but not in the way it used to like unholy aura the movement speed gain from that is actually just gone flat away gone but Unholy has a 15 second reduced cooldown on Unholy, uh, or I'm sorry, Wraith Walk compared to the other two specs. Not a big deal, but I mean it's cool, it's helpful, it's fun. It looks cool. Utility, it was just death. I mean you can taunt too, but don't be doing that often. Death Strike, you can heal yourself, but there's no like sack your pet anymore or anything like that. You can't take Purgatory anymore. I mean, defensively, overall, a lot weaker, but not actually weak. Like, a stretch of the imagination. I have... I really hope Unholy stays the top spec until they figure something out with Frost, because right now Frost is super boring after a little while. Unholy never gets boring. Unholy is fun to just log on and hit a training dummy with. Anyway, guys. I think that's all I got. That's what I like, like saying. Blitz are neat. Don't really care about them though. I like their man. Yeah, guys.